Hey everyone, welcome to Lies of P, specifically the Lies of P demo. If you haven't heard of this game, this is a Bloodborne clone Souls-like based on Pinocchio, steampunk Pinocchio, that is releasing this year. Actually, out of all the Souls-likes coming out this year, which there aren't that many, uh, this is probably the one I'm most hyped for. The game looks fairly good and I think it nails the Bloodborne aesthetic. Um, and compared to the other robot steampunk industrial Bloodborne clone that came out a couple of years ago, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like the French made one. This one looks a little bit better uh, in my view. So a demo is out and what I'm going to be doing today is checking it out. So yeah, let's not waste any time. Actually, this has been out for like two weeks. I just didn't get around to actually recording it. So yeah. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Very, very Bloodborne-ish. Yeah, and this is the main character. No customization. Looks like fucking... What's his name? The dude that's in every movie. Timothy Chalamet, I think that's him. It's like basically that, that guy um, who we're playing as. So this is the Pinocchio version we're playing. Um, it's like this is the tutorial. I'm not gonna even p pretend to pay attention to the story for now because the game is gonna be out anyways, uh, and then I'll I'll try to pay more attention then. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Krat, and I'll explain what's happening. A good enough motivation as any for me. Weapon pick. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. We can just take all three, can't we? Alright, what do we have? Path of the Cricket Balance. Path of the Bastard Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper Strength. And then we can oh, okay. Vitality Vigor Capacity Motivity Technique Advance. I'm guessing this is just gonna be the standard ones just renamed because of course uh you know what I ain't playing with no dex and strength builds we're going balanced all right I robot that's what the arm reminds me of Will Smith. God, that movie was awful. All right. Dodge. Attack. Heavy attack. We'll figure out the rest. Then let's kill this motherfucker. Yeah. Can charge as well. Standard. Listen. The way I am with Bloodborne clones, I'm not looking for anything complicated. Give me a good world, some good bosses, and the general gameplay, and I'll be okay. That game, uh... Okay, I'm completely... I should be paying attention. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. Yep. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Okay. All right, that's fine. So we have oper so we only have three heals, but we have a chance to recover them. So yeah, again, I'm not looking for anything complicated. The the French made one. I didn't play, but I think that one had like some platforming and all this other like useless mechanics. Um, and this one looks a little bit more traditional you need Kratz central station main entrance key all right we have our first locked door okay how the hell did you notice me probably because of your friend right I wonder if we have a parry. It said something like, 
Okay, we have a block. That's cool. And what does this do? We just like punch. Alright. And maybe an actual challenging enemy. If I can hit him. I gotta figure out like the stamina recovery situation. And sort of, well, it's not bad. Again, the game doesn't feel as nimble as Bloodborne. Definitely, shit. Definitely don't have that level of like mobility. But it's close. The enemy is about to be groggy. Hold R2 for a charge attack. Oh, okay. So you can stun enemies, uh, just like in Elden Ring and all that. Alright, that's fine. That dealt a lot of damage. Sawtooth wheel. And we got the key, I think. Which is good. I want to see the world. From what I've seen, they've shown gameplay of this game before and all that. The first gameplay shown had some absolutely hilarious placeholder vocals. It's worth going back and checking that out. It's awesome. I almost hope they kept that shit in. Oh yeah, this yeah, it's looking good. I like the design. I like the steampunk. It reminds me of Dishonored. Checkpoint, I assume. Use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina as well as charge your pulse cells. You will revive at this point upon death. Yeah. Standard practice. We know what's going on. I feel like I don't even need these tutorials. Yeah, level up storage. Let's see. We have HP, stamina, legion, and weight. Okay, that's the armor. Motivity, I'm assuming, is strength. Technique is dex. Advanced, this is some magic thing, right? Oh, it's a uh, defense stat, isn't it? Okay. We're gonna go with both of these because we're a filthy quality build. Some more damage that always helps, and we should be good to go. I mean, look at this place. This is... I'm sure... I think this location is in Bloodborne. Like, straight up. But that's cool. I mean, again, the aesthetics of the game are a little bit more dishonored, I would say. With the robots and the steampunk technology. Although, dishonored is difficult to match because the atmosphere of that game is fantastic. Fable Arts. Oh, this is it. Okay. Triangle use Blade Fable Arts while Guarding use Handle Fable Arts. Weapon ha weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Okay, this is like some like weapon art from Elden Ring or something. Um, that dealt a lot of damage, but it drained like all my shit. So... That's cool, you can charge this up and then just unleash on the enemy. You gotta be careful because you can run out of stamina. This is not like Bloodborne where it's very difficult to do. Just that, as in run out of stamina. Alright, that's good to know. These blades and handles and all that should keep things fresh. That's the one, isn't it? Well, thanks for letting me know. Nice. 
So there are parries in this game. It's just you don't stun the enemy. I think you just don't take chip damage. Which is... Almost never worth it. Because you just dodge out of the way. Okay, that's cool. So you can essentially get one heal back when you've run out. That's nice. That's sort of like a good twist on the mechanic. If you play well, even if you run out of heals, you can at least have a backup. I don't mind that. Now there is the shortcut. Alright, I'm gonna go back and level up. I think let's get a little bit more stamina and HP. That should help us out. All right, let's get a move on. Boss fight? So We're gonna have a boss fight, aren't we? I wonder how long this demo is. Well, I guess we'll just see. I don't think there is a lot to it, but who knows? Yeah, use that terminology. I have no idea what you're talking about. So he has throwing cell. Inflicts electric blitz damage at the area of impact. Okay. Electric Blitz Abrasive temporarily imbues weapon with electricity. I mean, all of that sounds good for our purposes. And he sells the weapons. Great Sword, the Rapier, and our weapon, which we don't need. Uh, yeah, let's buy two of these. I like electricity buffs, so yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, why can't you just do that all the time? Yeah, this is, this is a boss. You can't fool me. Does he have a plunger on his head? Seriously? Um... Just see how much damage we deal to him before I buff up. We're dealing good damage. Oh shit. Good damage but bad range from your boy. Alright, first things first. Let's see what this does. I think this is a weapon buff as well. Yeah, it is. But this is one I can use all the time. Got the range. Hold on. Okay. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just pull back a bit. Heal. God, that shit doesn't heal a lot, does it? So when it's a red attack, you just gotta get the hell out of dodge. I think that's the the general idea. Yeah, I'm gonna really try not playing like an idiot, because... I ain't exactly doing too hot here. Okay, fine, fine. At least they're nice enough to put your souls outside of the boss room. Or Ergo, that's what it's called in this game. Uh, you know what? Holy shit, that does a lot of damage. The electricity. And we're doing way better. That electricity is so goddamn powerful. Is he already going into phase two? Looks like it. Did he just take off the plunger? Yeah, 
get the hell out of there. Whoa, okay. I don't know how I did that. I mean, I know, I know, I, fuck, I can't even talk. I know what I did, but it wasn't intentional. I just wiped that dude off the face of the earth. Like, his HP is just gone. And he's dead. Wow, that was easy as hell the second time around. I think the key is just to, again, Bloodborne. Bloodborne mindset. You gotta be aggressive. Oh, we're already at the hotel. Maybe it's not gonna net me too much, because I have a feeling that's gonna be it. That's fairly nice way to implement the Pinocchio lore, if you can call it that, into the game. We're gonna have to lie to get inside. I really have a feeling that this is gonna be the end, so you know what? Let's just check out what happens if I use this. Nothing special, I and mean, that's 5k. That's a lot. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? We are human. I almost want to say that. <laughs> I wanted to try what happens if you say you're a puppet. Assume you just get blasted. I mean, just look at all this. Alright, your springs are reacting. Is it because we lied? Is that bad? If this is the end, this was fun. Cool game. Um, yeah, it, it gets the, the feel right. I like the atmosphere again. It reminds me more of Dishonored, but that's A-OK -okay because I love Dishonored. Lies of P. Nice. GG's. Cool. Is there more? <laughs> of course we have a waifu. They gotta get the waifu in here, don't they? The blue-haired waifu. Talks like a firekeeper too. I've been waiting for you. So There's actually more. I don't know how much more, but there is more. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Okay. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon face pocket watch. Pocket watch imbued with mystical power. Power watch turns back time to what I, I couldn't read that. Gemini is our little, what you call it, lamp, isn't it? Is she the level up waifu? She is the level up waifu, which is a shame because I thought... Listen, it's okay when you can't level up... Um, that is a lot of levels. <laughs> when you can't level up um, 
at a bonfire, but it does bring that annoyance of having to sit through twice as many loading screens. Alright, I think I got pretty powerful there. Alright, but then what can you do at these things? Teleport and use storage. Alright, fine. And there's another waifu. Weaponsmith, I'm guessing. What the hell is that? It's like the trick weapon. The stake driver. That's what it looks like. Legion arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each legion arm has its own combat ability. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's check out what this does. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The wire instantly narrows the distance between one and one's enemy. Oh, it's like Scorpion. Get over here. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, we got a new fit. Hell yeah. Gucci Spring Summer 23. We got that. Alright. I think we've got all that we needed out of this place. Yeah, there's more, apparently. Unless, you know, with these demos, sometimes they just, like, end up ending. Uh, and then that's it. But, no, this one is continuing. Which is good. I'll play more, because I'm having fun. This is a good game. Um, you know, when you see a game that you're hyped for, you're always worried in the back of your mind. But this one is looking okay. Obviously... There are still some things that will determine the overall quality. I will say this has been easy as hell so far. So we're, it looks like we're early on, but I do hope the game ramps up in difficulty a little bit more uh, in the main entry because, yeah, can't say this is exactly challenging, which is, of course, not a bad thing. I'll take a solid but easier Souls clone over a bad difficult one. What the hell? Hey, let's be more careful. Uh, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. What the hell is that? The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. But don't be alarmed. My name is Jiminy. We'll talk later when we're safe. Okay. But hasn't this dude been babbling at us all this time? Isn't he our lamp? Checkpoint. Well, whatever. Holy shit, get over here! Straight up scorpion. I don't mind that, that's cool. Alright. It's a nice mechanic. Obviously, if there's enough variety with these, it will make the combat a lot of fun, because you'll be able to switch these out and adjust it to the situation. Shortcut. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll be looping back around here. Okay, it doesn't have infinite range. But... Oh, fuck. Oh, can't you do like... Hold on. I think I'm gonna, gonna get killed, but... The Galaxy Brain move I was trying is... With this thing, you can technically drag the guys with the guns towards you and then just basically neutralize them because you know the annoying thing is they always just like stand back and keep shooting at you but you can just scorpion your them over to you and then that's it lada f-150 frame excuse me what they have Ladas in this game? The Soviet Union is around? Okay, okay, so this is your... Oh, this is like your equipment. What does this do? Increases physical damage reduction? Made to order items specific to Lada. The Puppet Parts Workshop. Damn! They're everywhere. You can't escape the Soviet Union. Not even in Pinocchio, can you? They're making ladas left and right. I'm hoping that didn't put me overweight. That's crazy. I don't think it did. Um, 
there's a lot of numbers I'm seeing, but nowhere where I could see how overburdened I am. I'm dealing mad damage though. I think those level ups were fairly useful. All right. That definitely is a good tactic. Instead of having to fight these motherfuckers on the ledge. Just drag them in. Although, I'm already out of ammo for it, or energy. So I'm, I'm probably you can recover it with something. Just don't remember, that's the Legion thing, isn't it? Which is fine. Another shortcut. Yeah, it all loops back. I mean, the other thing that will be a question, and it's always a question with Souls clones, is the enemy variety. So far, it's been pretty standard with these puppets. But I'm hoping that as we go deeper into the game, uh, there will be variety. Because to me, that can really, really kill a Souls clone. Uh, it's when there's a lack of enemy variety. Especially noticeable in, like, any of the Koi Tecmo games. Same with even, what's the newest one that came out? Wulong. Even that one I feel like had... Yeah, these guys are throwing shit at me. Had, like, a worrying lack of enemies. Which is always annoying. Is there a plunging attack in this game? Ouch. Was that it? Was that a plunging attack? I'm getting fucked up by these... Alright. What does electric shock do? I don't even have time to pay attention. Oh, I see it. It drains my blue... Pulse meter, I think that's called. Legion magazine. If I had to guess, this is the item, right? Yes, it is. Wow, that doesn't charge jack shit. Man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Um, we'll heal. And then... Actually, don't I have, like, stuff I can throw? Let's switch this out and try some firebombs. Oh! I almost totally screwed up. The weapon durability. You really gotta pay attention to that. It doesn't happen often, but I'm assuming it'll absolutely screw you over. Um, I would say that was unimpressive. Ouch. This is exactly like those big ogre types from Bloodborne. Listen, I know I'm saying Bloodborne like every two seconds, but I mean, look at this game. Three hit combo. It's difficult not to make Bloodborne comparisons, right? When you think about it, I'm trying to buff here, yeah. Still don't know what this does exactly. I should probably read up on it. This has some motherfucking delays, this guy. Uh, and I'm really trying not to die here because... There was a shortcut, but... It was a while ago. Oh. Is he dead? No, he's not. Fuck. <sighs> there he is. Still fairly easy. But no, there there are some challenging enemies. Again, this is basically nothing. Try playing Elden Ring. Can be equipped from menu, equipment, amulet slots. Okay. Amulets. Life amulet, increase max HP. I'm on that shit. You don't even need to ask. And we have a checkpoint.
something strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? We'll deal with that later. Just you wait. Because there is a butterfly there. Don't ask me why. Did I just nearly fall off as well? Yep, I did. Um. Seriously? We just gotta kill it. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Monad's lamb can detect the butterfly. Uh, it's a crystal lizard. Alright. I got you. It's just a crystal lizard. I think I'm getting some upgrade materials as well, which I gotta pay attention to. Okay, this is looking like a fairly open area, by the way. I gotta pay attention to the crystal lizards and the upgrade materials as well. If I can get a upgraded weapon, that would be swell. What is this? Oh shit, okay. What the actual, okay. We have a problem here. We might not have a problem here. Because <laughs> all these fuckers are stuck. <laughs> Alright. Wait, wait, wait. No. Come on. Yes. I knew it. God damn, I'm a genius. That like wiped out most of them. I don't know what the electricity does to enemies if they get that status, aside from just more damage. There we go. Get fucked. That was pretty sick. Gotta admit. But yeah, let's just move on. Uh, I think this is the main path. There's probably more items down there in the streets, but we're cool here. Warning, petrification, disease, quarantine zone, no trespassers. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. I'll be okay. It's an NPC, isn't it? Of course it is. She's gonna send me on a fetch quest. I'm okay with that. So she just has grayscale from Game of Thrones. Ask Jorah Mormont about that. Was that not not Jorah? God, I've been forgetting Game of Thrones character names. It's been a while. There, I've zero. Oh shit. I, I think I speak for most people that we have zero desires to rewatch Game of Thrones because the ending is shit. It's a shame that the shitty ending killed that show that badly because I did enjoy Game of Thrones while it was going um, it's just that ending was a bit of a what the fuck okay this this version of this guy is a little bit stronger than the one we fought in the station gotta be a little bit more tactical Shit. Is that only death number two for me? Not bad, but this is gonna be a bitch of a run back. I'm far away. Actually, I take that back. It's not that bad. Uh, there's like three enemies in the way, so... It's easy money, actually. Um, I should like... You know what? Before this dude comes charging and fucks me up. Oh, shit. Ah, okay. This is one of those souls legs, by the way, that lets you pause, but then... The enemies can still hit you. It's 
Motherfucker only has like two combos too and I keep getting hit by them. I gotta get back into the other Bloodborne thing which is you dodge through enemies. Instead of like you know instead of like away from them. It's a surefire way to screw yourself up. What the hell? That second attack is messing me up. And he's gone. Honestly. That was probably the most difficult... Bo like not boss, but enemy so far. Uh, we got a weapon out of that. Police baton. Uh, the, it's a strength weapon. Uh, I mean, it does the bangs. When you hit the ground with it. I like this weapon we have, this saber. Just based on soul's instincts. This looks like a boss arena. Or maybe not. Alchemist bridge. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. All puppets will be destroyed. Purge puppets. This is definitely a boss fight. This is him! And he has proper voice acting now. God damn it. This was the dude they showed in the demo. He was hilarious. Damn, this is way worse. I mean... It's way better, but it's way worse. What the fuck? Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Why does he have a donkey head? Is he serious? I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! It's a hunter fight. This dude looks like he's a bitch. Get over here. No. Oh shit, okay. He's fighting okay. You can definitely backstab him. Which I'm kind of fishing for, I'm gonna be honest with you. Come on! Let me scorpion you. Yeah, them delays though. This dude looks like he would be the easiest to fucking backstab and I can't get it. Fuck. Well, it looks like this game is capturing the annoyance of hunter fights as well. Finally! Alright. I think we might just have to like fish for backstabs against this against this fool. Man that tracking. Definitely feels like Bloodborne. 
as in with the hunter fights. There we go. I don't think that's gonna happen, man. I don't wanna, like, disappoint you. But that ain't gonna happen. Come on, just once. I so want to scorpion him. Easy money, second attempt. Unless he's gonna transform into like that donkey head. I want that so badly. I want that shit so badly. Is it the dude? Geppetto, my man? Oh, are we having a moral conundrum or something? Because we kill a human. Damn, he's got the drip. Look at him. Whoa, there is a lot of... <laughs> we got the mask. I mean... Gotta be honest with you. I think I just improved this game. By quite a lot. I might just rock this for a while. Alright. Fine. I cannot believe there's more. I really thought this dude was going to be the end of the, the demo. The donkey and finding Geppetto. But no, there's still more. Damn. They're actually giving us a fair bit of content here. Okay, I'm getting absolutely fucked here. Ouch. I didn't notice that... We got one more heal to our max. It's four now. When did that happen? I don't mind. Just I totally didn't notice it. It's just a puppet. Okay. Give her that baby puppet. Dilemmas, dilemmas. Gonna be some sad shit. 
But we're used to that, right? We play Souls games. Don't think it's gonna be... Or, I mean, I, I should say that outcome probably wasn't too big of a surprise for any of us here. We know how these things usually go. This totally felt like an ambush, too. And it wasn't. Patience amulet. We have increased stamina. Hell yeah. Use a star fragment at the crank's, crack's calling next to the boss air area to summon a specter. It'll help your character in boss battles. Wow, way to spoil the surprise. Um, what we're gonna do is we'll go back and give her the baby, see what happens, and then, yeah, we got a boss battle. You could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. <laughs> Please let me hold her. Oh, hair there, but do you think? Should we lie? Should we tell her the truth? Let's lie. That's right. Kind one. You've granted me my only wish. My sweet Elena. We're going to be happy now. We got a record. Something is definitely happening when we're lying. I feel like that's gonna play into some mechanic. Um, we just don't know what at this point. Now, is there something that will let me teleport back to... Um, yes, this one. Last Stargazer. Uh, yeah, let's go back. All right, that wasn't as sad an ending as I thought it would be. That's cool. So yeah, since the game pretty much spoiled that there's gonna be a boss fight here, you know what? Let's try using a star fragment to summon an ally. Now, this game, I don't think it's gonna have online multiplayer, so these are NPCs. But... Let's see who answers the call. Um... Okay. Jack shit happened. Maybe he's just gonna join us when we go into the obvious boss room. Oh man, this is like the most boss room boss room ever. Dramatic entrance and shit. Nice flag. Of course. I was gonna guess gargoyle, but no, it's a giant gorilla thing. With a, oh, it's a police officer with a mustache. It's fucking... what's his name? First boss of Dark Souls 3. Vort. This is Vort. Electric Vort. Alright, so far... Scrapped Watchmen. Oh, nice. There's a lady with an umbrella. A waifu. Helping us out. It's exactly what I wanted. Perfect guess. I was like, damn, do I want a lady with a fucking umbrella to help me out. And the game delivered. Yeah, so the deal with these attacks... The red attacks, there was a tutorial that flashed up, is they can't be blocked or dodged, so you can perfect parry them or get the hell out of dodge. Um, oh, it's his... okay. Alright. Let's just cool it down a little bit. There are wife who handle things a little bit. Come on. Yes. 
Come on. Shit. Nice, so nice, so. Oh shit. Heal. Alright. Grad, did he? Okay. I think my little wife was pretty much screwed. Yep. But, as compensation, we're not doing too badly here. Oh shit! Okay, maybe we are doing pretty badly here. This kid thinks this thing does. Oh, God, I can't even talk. Fuck! If I get killed here, I'm gonna be so mad. And there's actually a high chance of that happening. So I'm not dealing jack shit damage. Yeah. That wasn't far from where we were shooting for, but yeah, I screwed up the end there. All right, let's try this boss again. I went and had lunch in the meantime, so I'm coming back here with renewed energy. Uh, I decided not to go for the NPC because I feel like I'm doing, well, you can see that I'm doing like way more damage. So, I think this will be... fuck. It's difficult to avoid that attack. Yeah, so I'm doing way more damage, which is, I think, gonna make this whole thing a little bit easier. I thought that was gonna stun, but that dealt a lot of damage, so I don't mind. Okay, I nearly have him stunned. No, I don't. Just cancels out of it. Shit. I really don't want to have that electricity status applied to me. I think it's gonna be difficult to avoid. Okay, that leaves like a ground shock. That's okay. Ah, oh, motherfucker. One of the things that I'm noticing more now with this guy as he is the first actually difficult enemy in the game. Uh, you can't cancel into attacks once you already start them. Like, you know how in Bloodborne you could cancel out of your attacks? Even if you were swinging, you could just basically dodge any time. You can't do that in this game. If you're committed to a swing, that's it. That's why I'm getting hit a lot by like uh, these wind-up attacks. Because I'm trying to attack and I'm committed to those. Anyways, boss from back is nice and easy, so we'll get to like try this as much as we need to. Alright, doing pretty well here. Got the second phase. I have some heals. Just gonna not screw up. Ah, oh, that attack. That has some insane range on it. That back slap he does. Alright, I'm doing fairly okay here in terms of heals and all that. Man, this boss is actually... I gotta give it up, he's actually fairly difficult. The problem is you just have like very few opportunities to attack him. 
especially in phase two. And that makes things very difficult. Oh, motherfucker. I got hit by the grab. I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I'm dead. I didn't know he could redo that. Alright, so I'm gonna try this shit with the NPC again because... I don't know, maybe I'm just a bitch, but... Things are not working out for me. Uh, with this boss fight. I'm just like mad stuck on the second phase. And it's kind of annoying. So we'll just NPC it up a little bit here. And go that route. Cool. Oh, come on, I'm stuck on him. I didn't get the critical. All good. We should be able to... Yeah. Ah, shit. Alright, that's the attack that's like a real motherfucker. Come on, NPC. She's doing worse than she did before. Like, she lasted a little bit longer than that. Seriously. Come on. She's dead. And he's dead. Alright, finally. I knew that was kind of the solution. Um, yeah, that second phase is difficult solo. Maybe I just need to use a different weapon. I feel like this weapon is a little bit too committal. Uh, if you know what I mean. Like, it, you just can't dodge out of it very well. As in, like, the attacks are not slow. You can't really say this is a slow weapon, but... Maybe for this fight. Maybe this weapon is not just for me. Or just not for me, I should say. Anyways, I have the demo. I'll try out some other weapons because... Uh, we have the opportunities. I think this is definitely the end. I think this was like the, the big boss they wanted to show off. But let's just see where we go. Ooh, I think we're done here, pal. Yeah. It's locked tight. All right, all right, game. I got you. Let's go back. Oh, there he is. Okay, I totally missed this. He's got the big room. Uh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Yeah, there were no deaths. Don't even worry. Always remember that you're precious to me. All right, creeper wives. Just a little bit. Next mission, obviously. But I think we've come to the end. These are going to be like upgrades or something, skills. Extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. 
Be careful who you tell about this place. Especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. Imagine if it turns out to be the main villain. I could totally see that. I can totally 100% see that. Yeah, that's the end of the demo. Uh, activate P organ. Yeah, these are okay. Latent abilities. All right, let's just take a look at what we got. Increase impulse cells, fable, groggy window, link dodge. Enables another dodge in the middle. Oh, I totally want that. And then we have like, all right, we got quite a few. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of the Lies of P demo. I'm very, very impressed. You could probably tell throughout this demo that I'm enjoying this game. Uh, it's a solid, solid Souls clone. Bloodborne vibes, um, fun combat, nice sort of atmosphere, good enemies. Yeah, I can't really complain. Like I said at the beginning, all I want sometimes is just a solid bloodborne like because those are few and far between especially the good ones so this is a good one i can't really complain we'll see how the full release goes but i think i can pretty confidently say that i will be getting this game uh to me it's always positive you know when a developer gives out demos packs in quite a lot of content and isn't just like you know no review copies and all that because that is always suspicious yeah fun game uh, and this is free so do check it out and you can make a decision for yourself whether this is something that appeals to you i think if you're a bloodborne fan this should appeal to you and if you don't have access to bloodborne because you're a pc or xbox player do check this out because at least you'll get a sense of what bloodborne feels like obviously bloodborne is just way way more polished it's a classic but this game is really good so yeah i'll wrap it up here not gonna drag out the time too much thank you guys very much for watching this video of me playing lies of p and yeah check me out on whatever else i do next on the channel peace out and goodbye